Thank Bob. Yeah. Damn, it fucked your ass up. Shit, I'm my mama. <laughs> I can't even. Y'all ready? Here yeah. we go. Let's go. We hit that do site. We hit that Mac juice. This is everybody in the You know, we're sponsored by Coastal Studios and the Mac Juice. And this is the only place where you bring the topic. You know what I'm saying? And it's your boy J Mac, and I'm always on point like a Sharpie. Yo, it's your boy Banks in the building. What's good? Your favorite homegirl, Mia. <laughs> then we got our special guest. I'm Ariel. I'm Kenny, host of the Wrestling Lit Podcast. The nigga giving your kids melatonin chews. <laughs> <laughs> uh,. Today's question is, what do you think about male birth control? And me are going to kick this one off. I'm sick of you bitches on the internet about this shit. Y'all really trust these niggas to take birth control so they won't get too pregnant? Girl, fuck out of here. These niggas don't even like to use condom for real. Yeah, y'all, y'all really, they really got on this internet and made me mad because I really don't understand. You expect a nigga to remember to take a pill at the same time every fucking day and that nigga don't take no fucking vitamins? Are you fucking jokes? Like, 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 I just don't, I don't, I don't get it. Like, the bitches on TikTok making jokes and shit, and watch y'all end up pregnant because these niggas is not going to do what they supposed to do. They not going to go get their shot. They not going to wear their pants. They not doing none of this shit. So, I don't understand why y'all think this shit is a good idea. It's for horrible fucking ideas. It's fucking terrible. I, it, it's just, there's more children in the making at this point. Because these niggas going to lie. <laughs> the bitches lie about not taking their birth control all the time. What make you think these niggas won't lie? Mm. Damn. Mm. I, 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 mean, I just got. She say that, so I gotta ask these three dudes up here. Aunt, would you would you take the birth control? Nah, bro. Kenny, would you take the birth control? Bro, I done took so much shit. I might take it. Huh? You know like, he ain't taking it. I might. No, <laughs> I might take it. I might take the birth. Control. I mean, it won't do no justice, but I might take it. Like I, bro, I done took half of the COVID shot. Like, I done did. Yeah, you already down shit. bad. Yeah. You took that motherfucker. <laughs> like, I done did different, um, like, shit. Ex- experimented with shit. Like, I probably take it up. Yeah, because if you done popped the perk 30, you might as nah, well I, take... I ain't you t- might t- well t- no pop, th- pop no perk 30. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say that right. I ain't popped no perk, no perk 30, man. That's how I experimented. I ain't say I ain't took no perk, man. man but man. you take me for one of these homosexuals? <laughs> I don't pop perks. Whoa. <laughs> I don't pop perks. So I don't Park in my life. I, I definitely agree with Mia. Um, these niggas don't even take vitamins, so they wouldn't right. uh, remember to take their birth control. But if it was niggas like a shot, then that would be cool. I think that I do. I would like that idea. But who's to say they're going to remember to go get it every month? They have to make yeah. it in flavors. <laughs> if they make it in flavors, like flavored like birth control, you niggas get, are taking you it. Are like, no, no. You know how you would get niggas to do birth control? Put it in liquor. No. <laughs> so, uh, put it in weed. Uh, <laughs> but then we, yeah. now they have to make backwood flavors for the birth control. Niggas are, man. I, ain't, man. I, I agree with me, bro. Niggas don't even remember to put on deodorant every day. Hold on. I'm saying, like, some, of these some niggas. niggas. I've been saying, now, I don't be going to get tested I'm like this. I'm against it because I, do. I don't put on deodorant because that should be fucking my arm piece. I mean, you have a condition, though. So, like, I put it on when I go out and shit, but on the norm, on the regular basis, I don't put this shit on. That shit fuck my arm up. Even if I get the one with no silicone and shit, you know what I'm saying? That shit just fuck Yeah, me. I use spray on. Spray on fuck me up too. It's just mm-hmm. something wrong with my, no, my it's arm just, you, and shit. It's, it's the material in the, in, the, in the product. But I digress. I don't understand it. I, I, I mean, I get the logic. You know what I'm saying? Like, let y'all niggas do something for us. We got to have the key. We got to do all that shit. I mean, I get it. But Yo, you chose to have the key, though. Who was you? I ain't gonna lie. Hold on, before y'all go that far. So like, before y'all go that far, I'm gonna say I wouldn't take that shit. Uh huh. I wouldn't take this shit. I think that's crazy. Like, why would I? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit. Wow. It's crazy. And why I is? don't. And I don't understand. You got muted. Well, muted myself. I don't understand what the birth control is actually gonna do for y'all anyway. Like, like, what is it? What is it gonna move? Remove a certain material out of the sperm? Like, I, like, like, I don't understand. What know. exactly is supposed to do? Because you know for what? us, it prevents us from like ovulating and stuff like that. Like something actually happens. So what is gonna happen for y'all that's gonna be different? Like to make it so people don't get pregnant. Like I, I hate I, to say it though. I hate to say it, bro. It's all this this feminist movement, bro. I was bruh, just gonna like, say that. Like, I'm gonna say it ain't nothing but these mad ass bitches. <laughs> that's what it really is. It 
they ain't number these oh hoes out here mad and they want to complain about everything because they get periods and shit like that. Kill yourself if you don't want to be a female. Whoa, chill out. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, yeah, oh, nah. yeah, yeah. You were nah, too nah. far. <laughs> you were too, too far. far. Too like, too okay, too okay too think far. about this, bro. Like, you go sit up and complain about what you is, like kill yourself or go get a six change or something. I don't really know what to tell you. Like uh, that's like me being mad because my dick get hard every morning. Uh uh-uh, uh, this is this is, this is not. <laughs> Mac Juice had nothing to do with anything he said or anything will be held against us. No, no but parts if you think about that, it though, like huh? if you really think about it, like bro, like people are complaining the way they were made, and they're complaining so much where they have created a male birth control because bitches are tired of taking birth control. Stop fucking raw. Um, you got okay, to you could have led with that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't have to know what that is. You no, can, but okay, yeah, stop fucking raw. You ain't got to fuck every nigga you meet raw because bitches get offended when you pull out a condom. Let, let, let me see something. I've been having this goddamn condom. If it's still in there, I probably threw it away last night. I've been, yeah, I probably. Nope. Not I've this had nigga. this right there. Nigga, I've been having, dude, look at this fucking red <laughs> last condom. I've been having that fucking condom in my goddamn wallet. You, it, it ain't even no more air in this bitch because don't no bitch ask for no condom. And I'm fresh off. Cause why the hell still in your wallet? Hell, I thought I was going to use it, but no hoes get mad when you pull these out. Anyway, uh, so I got a question for you. So, um, so you against um, male birth control, but uh, how do you feel about like women taking it? Like, do you, if you messing with a woman, do you want her to take it, or are you just now personally? Uh, now this might this might sound this might sound a little wild. Uh, I really want. I don't think you should. I don't think women should take birth control neither. Because I feel like, you know, that shit be, that shit can have, like, do its toes on women. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It, it has some people take birth control. It has negative effects. And sometimes it makes it where women can't have babies at all because they, you know what I'm saying? And I just think that us as human beings or us as a species, any species, because I don't want nobody to get mad at me. We not animals, but any set of species, our number one goal as a species is to reproduce. So, I mean, that's my thing. Like, I think that we should reproduce. Like, if if you don't want to have a baby, that's all you. I mean, I'm what is it? Pro life. I Mm -hmm. want women to make the choice. You know what I'm saying? No, you're pro choice. I'm pro choice. -choice. I feel like this their body and they make their choice. But I do feel like that. You know, our goal is to reproduce. So, like, why would we impede ourselves from reproducing? And plus, y'all know the birth rate is at an all time low. Also, real. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All these poor ass babies being made and it's still a low birth rate? Yeah, it was yeah. it used to be like a hundred no, it was like a a, a million or a hundred million or something like that a year. It's like nothing like three hundred thousand, three good, three good something. Man. People so, are not having children no more for it, real. It dropped to like thirty it dropped sixty percent, bro. Yeah. Birth rate dropped sixty percent. That's good. I I, I That's I, not good, bro. Why not? Bro, what is you saying? I mean, Jeremiah, there's a lot of children out here being born, and neither one of their parents really want yeah, to. Yeah, that nigga's just these, making po ass yeah, babies. It's, not like, even, it's time to stop, bro. Not, not even that. The world is just really weird right now. Like, mm-hmm. these pandemic yeah. babies is weird. Like, imagine your first thought of the world is like everybody wearing masks. Like, that's such right. a weird mm, yeah, reality. Facts. I never even thought about that. Yeah, like, that's but just there, so Ain't weird. nobody really wearing masks no more now. I mean, well, yeah, but you still got to. Yeah, like you when the kids, your kids when, like, yeah, when kids yeah, we go to school, agree that masks were pointless as fuck. Technically, no. technically, masks are pointless because the COVID virus was smaller than the fibers than the, the fibers the, in the mask. I don't know. I believe that masks work. I, I, think, I think that's the only thing. <laughs> I that caught works. COVID, so I don't. I, I already did. caught it. I did. I, think I think slick caught I've it. Never caught COVID. I slick caught it twice. The second time, I ain't stay away from people. Fuck them folks. Oh my God. But I mean, you're I'm a not a. You're a menace. This man yeah, is a menace to society. Second <laughs> time, I didn't even wear a mask. I mean, I like no. They gave it to me. I was staying at home. They gave it to me. Fuck y'all. I'm coming to work. Y'all shouldn't have came up in here with this shit. They brought it to work, so I said, "Fuck y'all. I ain't finna go home." This man. I ain't finna go wow. home. Okay, I thug through it the second time. The first time, I almost died. But the second time. I stayed at work. I knew I had this shit. I ain't had to go get tested. I felt it. Oh, no. My spirit told me I had it. I said, yeah. <laughs> so, so y'all think y'all think that the birth control would be a good way to prevent children? Y'all think men? Oh, well, you said no. Well, you said no too. So yeah, like, I said no. And y- everybody said no. So y'all like 
in, in the world, in the perfect world, what do y'all think the idea or the concept behind this shit is? Like, yeah, trying to convince up. men, yeah, to stop having... I don't know. It may make your dick shrink or your balls shrivel up or something. Because, I mean, if that's the I'm case... I'm talking shit, but I'm not taking this shit. They should want us all just to go get vasectomies then. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not taking this shit for Well, men girl. still don't want to do that either. I mean, but why would I go get a vasectomy? get a vasectomy. I, I ain't mean, getting no vasectomy. I feel like you should only get a vasectomy for like your wife or something. I don't think it yeah, should just be But they're still right controlling now, a woman though. They can hug or get her tubes had. No, but with men, it's like it's almost painless. It's no like downtime and like And they can reconnect it at any yeah. point in time. Yeah. So it can not, also reconnect itself. Hey, y'all women, never got nutted in and watched the, the, the nut Whoa. come out y'all. Like, why did it drop out Anyway, um, in a <laughs> In a perfect world, I think that male birth control would be good. I'm not going to say, like, of course, niggas ain't going to take their stuff. Fix. But if it was a perfect world and, like, guys actually took what they're supposed to take, it would be beneficial because guys can impregnate a million women at a time. Women can only have one baby a year. But this is the thing, yeah. though. That, but That's a lie. As a dude, you have no consequence is, is like, is... You know what I'm saying? Is taking the birth control or having more babies. Right. If you have a baby, I didn't suffer. I didn't have the child. I know, right. and that's fucked up. But, like, that's why in a perfect world, if you took it, I mean, of course, that's, like, it's just selfish thinking to be, like, yeah, um, it don't really affect me. So, it's like, you know, whatever. <laughs> but in a perfect world, it would be beneficial. So, for both of y'all, this is for y'all because y'all the girls. So, if, if males took birth control... Would that guarantee for them to get more pussy? Yes. I, I feel like that would make niggas get birth control. Most if a stiff. if a nigga knew that you on the pill, I mean I'm saying let's let's let's, let's, let's look at let's look at it this way. And it feels like a library card where he can pull that bitch out and he got everything, or it's on his phone. He got it on his phone. He can pull you like, yeah, I got my birth control. I'm saying God. like I'm saying it, it would work out better because at this point, if I don't want the kids and you don't want the kids and we birth both on birth control, if both of them hoes fail. Clearly, that shit wasn't meant to work. That, well, that's how I see it. Okay, birth control so feels. Get con- pregnant is you go get rid of the baby. A hundred percent. I feel you. Oh that. shit, man! No. You ever been to Planned Parenthood? This is a dark <laughs> ass, dark man. ass. <laughs> I'm saying, but my no. logic is is with male birth control and female birth control. Both of y'all are on birth control. The chances of y'all having a baby is significantly decreased. It's still hey. possible. hundred percent. So, so tell me but, this. So people just now. Now this is this is me. This is me. This okay. is me. Cause I say I say this all the time. You know, I say the goal is to reproduce. So people just want to fuck for fun. Then. You, why else? What, what do you is, mean? Isn't that well, what y'all doing anyway? Yes, <laughs> of course. Why? Why else am I fucking? I mean, you said that you was bougie, so I ain't gonna... I'm, 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 I'm bougie I'm not, digging hell, no, I ain't gonna I, lie. I mean, I, I understand that, but a lot of dudes aren't. So that's no. what I'm saying? Are you just fucking for fun? Yes, sir. A lot yes. of these people uh, are. Yes, I and ain't these no birth don't like control, and I don't know. Ain't no condoms, ain't no birth control. I ain't asking you what you got. We fucking. Nothing. I don't... I mean, at least you're honest. Uh, at least you're honest. I can Wait, what you mean you ain't asking what they got? What the fuck I'm going to ask somebody, hey, you got a disease or you got oh, your okay. test results? Yeah, no. Oh, I don't ask shit. None of that. I'm going to ask y'all something, though. Since we talking about like birth control mm-hmm. and keeping babies and all that, like, okay, did you grow up with a father in your house? <laughs> no, it's a serious mm-hmm. question. Yeah, no. I yeah, no, okay. I okay. already said don't ask me nothing. Mia, you grew up <laughs> yes. with a father in your house? <laughs> yeah. You grew up with a father in your house? <laughs> nah, j nah. did you grow up with a father in your house, I Harry? Said, I said don't ask me nothing. Okay, but anyway... <laughs> So, uh, I feel like, uh, like if you were, like, deadbeat. Did have, you, though? Yeah, no. Yeah, and no. The yeah. fuck is one answer? Wait, I mean, no, it's not. No, 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 when no you, it ain't. When you, say, when you say that, actually, when she when you say that, I, mine, yeah, and no, too, because yeah, I had, cause I had I, a stepdad. I'm not a bastard child. So, you know, oh, my mom sure got married bastard. before she got pregnant with me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? At least she had that much respect for herself. But what? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, but now, nah, like, that's why I say yeah, now, nah, because like I had my brother, daddy, he was married to my mom before. You know what I'm saying. So I grew up with him. But uh, I think being a deadbeat take more nuts than actually taking care of a child. Like you, you got to elaborate, please. <laughs> okay, so think about this right here. Like, bro, I mean, no, what I said. <laughs> A dead, a dead beat, beat takes more. No, than- no, no, no. Like, yeah, yeah. Because men are so pressured to do the right things right now. Like, you gotta be in your child life. You don't want to be exposed for being a dead beat. Your 
you, especially if you grew up without a, a father in your life, you want to be better than your father. It takes more courage to walk in the path of your daddy and be a deadbeat than actually be a, a good daddy. Like, it's so, like, bro, being a father hard. I, I got, like, three partners that are good fathers, and they go through hell. They got good paying jobs. They do everything they baby mama say. Some of them on child support, and they catch hell. These niggas ain't even 35 with gray hair in their head. Stress the fuck out, drinking beer every day. Bruh. Bruh, I got partners that look younger than me, and they in their 40s. Fuck them kids. Like, being a deadbeat is like, it takes more courage to be a deadbeat. Like, you being labeled as one of the worst men in the world. To wear that jacket? I ain't gonna lie. The way you set it up, mm-hmm. I, I thought that was not gonna be the best point. But, I feel like that's, a, you, that's, but, that's, a, that's a good point. But that you a good did point. make a valid point. That is a valid <laughs> point. I think I trick bitches out of pussy, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm I just thought that would be funny. I'm just bullshit. Back to your valid point. That is a very large shoe to feel to be a deadbeat. That's a very Bro, large like, shoe. Think about you got to meet a new bitch and be like, hello, I'm a deadbeat. Like, you got to meet a bitch. She go ask you, do you got kids? And you got to be like, yeah, I got kids. She go see you don't take care of your kids because you never fucking got your kids. <laughs> Hey, bro. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Shout out to the bitches, fucking deadbeats, man. <laughs> like, di- it's a different type. It's different type of bitches out here, and they ain't going to heaven. Like it's different type of bitches out here, bro. Uh, this is this is what I'm saying because you you are right to an extent because mm-hmm. like you know what I'm saying if you don't, you don't know your history, you bound to repeat. And you are who you are. You born who you are, despite if people want to do it or not. But if your daddy a deadbeat and your granddaddy probably a deadbeat. You know what I'm saying? It's a good chance. You're right. You're going to be fighting demons not to be a deadbeat dad. You are not lying. That is 100% correct. And you are right. I have friends who have baby mamas. And I'm not saying they baby mamas ain't shit. But you know what I'm saying? They do go through it's a, a lot. Rough. Just <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? Just for their kids. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just to be around their kids. Because this new generation of, mm-hmm. of men, you know what I'm saying? They want to be there for their children. Pussy ass niggas, man. Why don't we be there for their kids and shit? Man, leave them kids, man. Go make a new family, nigga. Start over. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> for real, that's just like that nigga G Herbo going through that shit with our man. Fuck our fuck that punk. She hang around and fuck that little baby, man. Go, you got a new baby, two kids. Do not leave your kids. Whoa. If you got kids, don't. I'm saying you can't Only abandon your, your kids. Don't abandon your kids. I'm that negatively kids affects the children. I am not a part of this, this activity. We gotta break this it's cycle. Crazy, I'm not a part of this activity. We gotta break this Do cycle. not leave your That's kids. That's why so many strong men out here not leaving their kids. I mean, not leaving their kids now. Man, side babies are ruling the world right now. Kanye West was a side baby. His daddy abandoned him, and he's a billionaire. Now, I'm not going to lie that it's correct because you know what I'm saying? Side he wasn't the a deadbeat. He Jesus was, was a side baby, nigga. Think about it. Jesus was a side baby. If you th- Mary was married to Joseph. He got <laughs> quote unquote pregnant by God and had Jesus on Joseph back and he took care of the baby. Puss ass niggas out here taking care of other folks kids. Like, niggas sorry as hell. I would have left that bitch. What you mean God got you pregnant? Ain't nobody ever thought about this. So y'all want me to believe a side baby really saved the fucking world. Yes. Side baby. Okay, so side babies run the world, right? Okay. Okay. I'm, I, 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 I'm not going to say that the way you set that up, I'm not going to say it was wrong. I'm not going to say it was wrong. She was already a married virgin. That's the craziest shit ever right there. A married virgin. <laughs> The bitch was married and a virgin. And she got pregnant by God on her fucking husband and had this fucking side baby that came and killed all the punks and saved the world. Like, how do people even believe in God and shit anymore? In these oh, right. no, 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 no. This, this, this is Everybody Ain't Able, sponsored by Co Star Studios and the Mac Juice. And this is a place you can say whatever you want to say. And then this your boy Banks. Your favorite homegirl, Mia. <laughs> So y'all just go cut the middle of it. I wasn't gonna cut you. But. <laughs> no, but think about it, bro. It's a pro, like, yes to homosexuality and all this shit. Like, I, I mean, my sister, like, girl, she got a girlfriend. She's she date her girlfriend. She live with her girlfriend. I don't care about that. But how is this? Like, it's so many people in this world that's like still believing in God, but y'all practice all the shit of the world. 
Like, God burnt the world down the first half of the shit we doing now. Solomon Gamora, like, he burnt the whole city down because they was fucking each other. Like, the men and the women. Like, y'all don't read the Bible? No, yeah, I we, get, we, what, we, we get what you're saying. I mean, okay. you are making a valid. Okay. It's valid. It's just... Who say the fucking world. A goddamn side, baby. I mean, what you're saying is valid. It's just so, so it's so destructive. Yeah, it's because very destructive. I this mean, is a very is. different viewpoint. I did not expect this. Yeah, was, what like, you're saying it's, is valid. It's just a little slander, you know, I don't tolerate. But, you know, <laughs> I, I just don't know how to react to that shit. I don't These know what to say. Mississippi niggas are different. Hey, hey, hey. Him in Mississippi. hey, hey, hey. I'm from Mississippi now, but we're not going to do that. Oh, okay. Memphis, Tennessee, you dig? Not, not Mississippi. Oh, you don't play by God and stuff? I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't that. Like no, 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 I ain't disrespect. It's just, I don't know what to say about it. Like, I don't have nothing to say. Uh, like, yeah, I'm just like, damn. I, mean, you know, I ain't got nothing to that, say. That, yeah. this, this, bro, I've been counseled this, so long this ago, so bro. Uh, <laughs> you straight, because everybody got different perspectives yeah, on I shit. Mean, so I, I, mean, it ain't, I mean, I ain't say I don't believe in God. I just gave y'all a, my, like, a different crazy. viewpoint. Yeah, like, I can yeah, go to yeah. church every Sunday. Y'all, oh, I ain't go to church today, but y'all don't know. But, nah, but just, what you said, I mean... People to, praying to a side, baby, nigga. <laughs> just think about that. Y'all, to, people praying to a side, baby. But to make your point, you did make your point, and it did. It was valid. valid. You know what I'm saying? It was valid. I mean, though, the, the average person, because I am the average person, I don't want to agree with how you made that point, but at the <laughs> same time, because I wouldn't have made it like that, but it's, it's valid. But... Yeah. But... Let me let me give the that nigga want to make it heavy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so let me what? give the other the other side of it though. I mean, yes, a lot of successful people do come from deadbeat dads. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people do come from unfortunate situations. But at the same time, if it's you, why would you want somebody to go through what you had to go through? Like for me. When I get my, well, not when, I'm gonna say I am, I got the bag right now. It just ain't, it just ain't here yet. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But when it get here, I don't want my kids to have to go through what I went through. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why I ain't had kids yet. So oh, just, just cause I had to go through the struggle or whatever, I had to get to what I got right now. Yes, that don't mean my kids have to do that. I can make them, they already gonna be five steps, ten steps ahead because. I'm trying to be financially literate. I'm trying to be, you know, stack shit so they don't have to do what I did. And so I can pay my mama back for the shit she did for me. But I get what you're saying. Like, a lot of success do come from negative situations. Because you talking to a person like me who thrives off of negativity. Like, I don't like when people tell me I do good and they like shit and all that. Like, that, that is like the ultimate deterrent for me. People always pat me on the back. That shit will make me stop. But, me too, bro. I hate when bitches be like, I don't want to cheat on my boyfriend with you. I hate this shit. I but hate. but look, but this is what I'm saying. If 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 I had more people telling me like, you can't do shit, you can't do this, you can't do that, that'll always motivate me more. To go harder. To go harder. But that's the type of person I am. Right. But I'm motivated off of ne- negativity. Mm-hmm. I don't need positivity to try to be successful. Mm-hmm. But a lot of people think that they need positivity to be successful, yeah. which is... Kind of like yeah. what what type of space we in right now, yeah. where everybody want to be patted on the back for yeah. not doing shit, and that's why people not achieving nothing if you really think about it. Because like if everybody tell you everything you're doing is good and good job, way to go all the time, you, gonna you have huh? you settle, settle. Yeah. you have nothing to strive for, you have no, no type of struggle or anything to fight against. Like how do you achieve something? Like think about winning the basketball game if. The team you whooping is like some people in wheelchairs and you can walk. Like, it's going to be an easy-ass game. You need something to go against. So, yeah. like, that's why I don't like this fake positive shit where everybody always, oh, I'm saying my morning affirmations and what's all the other shit they say? Uh, What's all the other shit they say? Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know, yeah. No. Me. She asked me. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> I, I forgot. She said you can't ask no more questions. Oh, yeah, yeah, my bad. No, uh, I was just, I mean, I ain't had no answers that time. Oh, yeah, that that I, question I was able to answer. Yeah, they I say that they affirmations and it's always positive. Let's do this. Uh, what's that shit? Speaking shit into existence. That uh manifestation, manifestation. shit. Yeah. I don't like this shit, bro. Like we need some negative shit. We need to like put everybody backs against the wall. If but, you and I'm a, this is gonna be the last thing. But look, if you ever look at everybody who's successful, if you hear their story. None of their stories about how people patted them on their back. Exactly. Right. It was always about how people didn't believe in them. Mm-hmm. People didn't give them a chance or whatever. Mm-hmm. And if success is 
driven by negativity because we could take the top 10 people, you know. Even we can talk about the richest black man we right. know, which is Kanye. We just watched the documentary and on this shit. Davis, you know what I'm saying? You can see the negativity. But that's me. And this is everybody in neighbor, you know, sponsored by Coastal Studios and the Mac Juice. And it's the only place where you can say whatever you want to say. It's your boy J-Mac, and I'm always on point like a Sharpie. Yo, it's your boy Banks in the building. Your favorite homegirl, Mia. And we got our special guest. Ariel. And Kenny from the Restaurant of Day Podcast. <laughs> and we just going to take a little toast to everybody not being able to say what they want to say. God damn, man. <laughs> <laughs> I need someone to help me, help me I know that you can't feel me, feel me When you meet the real me, the real me It's something that you can't see, can't see I need someone to help me